Greetings, everyone. This is Jim Todd with Song Surgeon, and in this weekly video tip, we're going to discuss the topic of how to apply loop settings without looping. So let's start with a little bit of a review. Loop areas are a great way to isolate specific segments of a file or a song for repeated playback. Within Song Surgeon, you can set up an unlimited number of loops in a song. Furthermore, as you know, Song Surgeon allows you to customize each loop independently. In the example on my screen, I have three loops. First one is set to 95 for a tempo, the second one is set to 50, and the third one is set to 75. Now, during playback, when the playback progress indicator encounters a loop, it will immediately apply the loop settings as it plays the looped area. And once it hits the end of the looping area, it will automatically jump to the beginning of the loop and continue playing again, and it will play this loop repeatedly and infinitely until you stop. So let's just take a quick listen as a review. Being guided by the hand of the king tonight, the hand of the king tonight. Now, there are times when, without removing the looping areas, you want to play the entire song from beginning to end without it looping. The loop bypass feature allows you to do this. So if you were to turn this off, and when you turn them off, you can see that the loops, although they're still visible on the screen, the beginning and ending loop points, that the song will play as if the loops don't exist. So it will play straight through and there will be no changes in tempo or any other setting. I, so I end up in this strange town full of southern soul and sound. Maybe in the jungle room. This bypass feature is very convenient, but there may be times in which you want to apply the custom loop settings, in other words, the 95, 50, and 75, and have the song play through, but without it looping at each of these loop areas. So we're going to show you how you can do that in Song Surge. Now, to accomplish this, it's not that difficult. You actually, I'm just going to start here from the beginning over on the left, place your progress indicator inside of the looping area. So you go to the bottom loop area here, you click Edit, and then within this Edit Loop dialog window, you see the loop count here of minus one, which means play infinitely. If we change this to zero, it means it will not loop at all. It will play straight through. We save it. Move to the next loop. Do the same. Move to the next loop. And do the same. Once we've done that and saved it, let's go back and now play this through. And even though there are loops, you'll see that we no longer loop. We play through at whatever the custom settings are. So in this case, it's 95%. You're not going to hear much difference. When you get over to here, it's going to play at 50%. You'll certainly hear how slow that is. And lastly, it's 75%. So let's take a listen. So as you can see, it's not that difficult to change these loop settings. So you can still apply whatever custom settings you have within each loop, but yet not have the loops play repeatedly. And with that, we'll conclude this training video on how to apply loop settings without looping. Thanks for watching.